All right, guys, uh, so uh, my bracket, my screws, uh, well, my wall anchors and the drill bit and that have arrived. So I was gonna deadlift this morning, but I'll probably do it tonight if I've got enough energy. So what I've done is I've uh, just marked on the wall here the different places where uh, the, 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 the bolts and that have to go for my uh, wall bracket for my boxing bag. Um, I've stuck to do the holes as well, drilling them in. So just thought I'd show you before it went up kind of what it looked like. So you get before and uh, probably in a couple of hours time you'll see an after shot. <laughs> it's going quite well. Um, the holes are, yeah, as you can see now, are going across perfectly, being spirit leveled and everything, so definitely gonna be level. Um, but my drill has just run out of power, so I've been forced to take a little break um, and put that on charge. Um, obviously to you guys it'll be like a split second when I come back and do some more. But what I might do is actually have a, a little mini workout. I um, might do my deadlift that I wanted to do earlier. Um, so uh, whilst I wait for the, the drill to charge, I don't know how quickly it charges. Um, but that last hole, the, the, the hole up here, uh, let's see if we can get a little closer. Uh, so that last one, that was the one I'm, I'm doing. It's not quite at 80 mil depth yet. Uh, so that's how deep I'm going, 80 mils into the brickwork. Uh, <laughs> at the end, it just wasn't going any further. I was like, am I hitting metal or something? So I was shining the long light down there and I kept going. And of course, it was the drill running out of power. It just uh, wasn't strong enough to get through because of the battery power. Um, so as I say, that's been charged up now. I'll be back in a split second to show you, hopefully, the finished product. Hopefully, get that done today. Also, as well as that, I'll be putting uh, padding on this wall here. Okay, so padding was going to go up to um, act as a shock absorber for that bag there because this is, I think I said on a previous video, um, this isn't too happy with the light shaking whilst I uh, punch it against the wall and now apparently it's quite loud on the other side. So um, I'm just going to do that just to play cater. You know, happy wife, happy life and all that. All right, guys, I'm going to hopefully do some deadlift. Um, and then uh, by the time I finish my, my, my deadlift, so I'll have enough power to at least get some of this done, if not all of it. All right, guys, so the aqua bag and the wall bracket is finished. Um, it's got a lovely feel to it. I'll be doing a review at a later date and also I'll be doing a lot of fighting sessions on there. Just thought I'd show you there the, the amount of swing in it and the amount of resistance to punches is a lot more than I thought. It weighs 15 pounds a bag, so it is a light bag, so just over stone. But it, when I hit it with gloves, not too bad, but bare fists, wow, you know, it really has a resistance to it. Um, it, it when you hit it, it feels very solid, but gives away enough at the same time. It's, it's quite an unusual feeling completely different to any other sort of heavy bag or bag that you may use. But again, I'll, I'll do that in the reviews, but the aqua bag is finished. That's uh, the end of my work for day four on the, uh, on the gym. Uh, I don't want to do any more. I'll try a bit of deadlift, but I'm knackered. It's taken a lot longer to do that than I thought and to do a few of the other things. But, you know, it's done and dusted. It's something I've wanted for years, and finally I've got it. Valhalla!